Welcome to Jivlon Email Marketing. This video explains how to create an email campaign using the Jivlon Editor. Login to the Jivlon software. After logging in, go to Campaigns. A campaign is a group of email and SMS messages. Click on the Add icon to create a new campaign. Let's name this campaign Exploring Europe. We will now create an email. Email creation is a three-step process. The first step enables you to configure your email. Let's enter a subject for our email, Greece Vacation for you. You can even personalize the subject. You can add first name of the recipient within it. So if you have a recipient with first name John, then the subject would read Greece Vacation for John. You can provide a default, to be used in case the first names of some of your recipients are blank. Your subject would then read Greece Vacation for you. Select a sender for your email. Juvlon has already created a sender for you, using the email address that you provided when you registered. You can add another sender for your email, by clicking on the Manage Senders button. A preview text or a snippet, is an extension to the subject line in the recipient's inbox. This text will also appear at the very beginning of your email. You can use the formatting options provided. Add a personalization. Or even add a link. You can insert a link for the web version of your email. Let us provide a text for the link, view this email on your browser. You can add a referral link. This link appears at the bottom of your email. You can add a reply to address, if you want replies to go to a specific email address, other than the sender's address. Track links is enabled by default. Link tracking enables you to track recipients who have clicked on links in your email. You can uncheck this option if you do not wish to receive any clicks analytics for your email. We recommend you keep it on. You can enable Google Analytics tracking on links if you have a Google Analytics account. Click next to proceed to the next step of email creation. Step 2 lets you select how you want to create your email content. Select from a range of completely customizable templates that Juvlon provides, and click Next. Step 3 opens up your selected template in Juvlon's email editor. The Juvlon email editor is an easy, drag-and-drop editor that enables you to create responsive emails, emails that will look good on all kinds of devices. On the left is the content pane which shows the email content, and the right side shows the elements that you can add into your email. Set the overall default email properties by selecting the body tab. Let us set the content area width to 600 pixels. The email now has a fixed width of 600 pixels, all content will get displayed within this width. Let us also set a default font style to be used for all text. The Juvlon email editor creates emails using structures, rows of 1 to 4 columns of varied widths. As you can see, we selected a very simple template consisting of a single structure with an image placeholder. This template is completely customizable you can add edit clone delete structures and all its contents. Let us customize this template. Select a structure and drag it to the email view on the left. As you move over the email view, blue placeholders with the text drag it here will appear between the existing structures of the email, showing you where you can drop your dragged structure. Simply drop your structure on any one of these placeholders. Select and add as many structures as you like. You can delete an added structure, by clicking on its delete icon, and confirming delete. Set properties for your structures. You can set background colors, or add a background image. You can even configure each column in your structure like specify a border or change paddings. Let's add a black content background color to the last structure also. Add content within your structures from the content tab. Let's add some images. Select image and drag it to the email view on the left. Click browse. An image gallery opens up. Let us upload an image from a folder on this computer. Browse and select an image file. After the image has been uploaded, mouse over and click insert. You can then carry out various image settings like alignments and padding. Let's provide a link for this image. 
Clicking on the image will open the link that you have just provided, in a new tab of your recipient's browser. You also have several image editing options. Alternatively, you can also just drag and drop an image from your local drive onto the image content, and the image will automatically upload and get selected. Let us add some text. Select text from the contents tab, and drag and drop it within a structure. Replace the placeholder text with your text. You can format your text using the various options provided in the toolbar. Use the Merge Tags drop-down in the toolbar to add personalizations like the recipient's first name, last name, email address etc. Let's add another text. You can add links within your email by clicking on the link icon in the toolbar, and entering a link in the URL field. Let us complete our email with some more images and texts. You can clone a text for areas where you would like the same look, so that all the formatting settings are copied, and you do not have to set them all over again. Let's see how we can easily add a button in our email. Directly type in the text that you would like to be displayed on the button. You can change the appearance of the button using the button properties displayed on the right. You can also provide a link in the URL field for the page to be opened when the button is clicked. You can clone the button so that all the settings are copied in the new button for a consistent look. Move the new cloned button to the desired location in the email, and make the required changes. You can delete a button by simply clicking on the delete icon. Let us now add some social media buttons to the email. Select the social content, and drag it to a structure in the email. Social media icons for Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus start to appear by default. You can change the appearance of the social media icons. You can also choose which social media icons you would like to display. Specify URLs for the selected social media icons. You can preview your email using Actions, Show Preview. Alternate between the desktop and mobile options to see how your email will appear on these devices. Close the preview by clicking on the close icon. Click finish to save all your changes and to complete the creation of your email. Your email will now open up for review. Review each section of your email. Click on the edit icon of whichever section you wish to make any changes in, and the appropriate step of email creation will be opened for editing. For example, Clicking on the edit icon for the subject section will open step 1. Whereas the edit icon for the email content will open step 3. Click save, after you have completed your changes. Thank you for watching the Juvlon demo.